Hello, 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 hello. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. I'm doing good. I was a bit sick, but now I'm doing better. But now we're in the gym. Look at me go. I'm trapped three raises. Today, what I'm going to talk to you about is stop changing goddamn exercises. Stop changing exercises every week. There's so much juice left in the lemon. Keep squeezing. Changing exercises or rep schemes each and every week is exciting because you're going to create a nice stimulus and you're going to feel it. If you keep changing exercises, you're going to get fatigued and you're going to create a stimulus. It's going to create an adaptation that you want. However, the fatigue is so high and you won't have the ability to get everything out of that exercise that you could have if you continued using it. <clears throat> the best judge, if you should change exercise, is not, <clears throat> excuse me, it's a little bit sick, is not if you're bored, it's not to create a new stimulus. The best judge of when you should change exercise is if you've plateaued in the rep range that you've been training for at least I would say two to four sessions, not not including a deload. If you've done like, if you've just done a deload, you've started a new training cycle and you've plateaued on an exercise for two weeks in a row, two sessions in a row, two to four sessions in a row, and it's not because your general fatigue is too high, like you've done your deload and tried again and you're still plateauing, that's when you should change exercise. If not, Keep squeezing that lemon. Keep going, even if you're bored, because that's how you're going to get the maximum benefits out of an exercise. The difficulty level of an exercise will start up here, like it's really high, and it's going to get easier. And your competency will start down here, and it's going to get better over time. And you can stay in this magic zone where it's like, the difficulty and your competence are optimal so you can create the most force out of your muscle fibers throughout the greatest range of motion so you can lift progressively more and more weight over time and therefore get stronger, get bigger if you're doing longer range movements like long range dips or whatever you can also keep continuously improving the strength over a greater and greater range of motion. But yeah, stop changing exercises all the time. Do a goddamn exercise and do that one exercise for at least four weeks. At least four weeks. I'll go on about this dumbbell bench press a lot, but the gains have been ridiculous. I started with like, 36 kg or 38 kg for six reps about at the start of about two months ago now with the 42s up and i did five reps five reps four reps for like so i did three sets that's a ridiculous increase it's like what almost 20 percent increase in weight 20 percent there's so much juice still in the lemon. Keep squeezing. And the results speak for this themselves. Like, how can you get bored? How could you possibly get bored when you're making progress? Like, if the weight's going up, if the reps are going up, if the amount of sets you, are, you, can, you can manage are going up, how are you getting bored? That's just basically equaling results after results after results. So quick changing exercise and like another thing, you could go in and try this exercise for a week and that's when the exercise is most stimulating, it's hardest, but your competency is so low. So you would often say, you would often hear, that exercise doesn't work for me, I don't feel that exercise working where I want it to work, <clears throat> that's not a good exercise for my body type or whatever. 
And the answer is probably, there's probably, yeah, I'm going to keep banging on more juice to squeeze out of that lemon because your competency is so low. It's down here in this corner where you want to get it up there. You want to build that competency over time. And that takes time. The more complex a movement, you look at a snatch or a clean and jerk, that literally takes, you're looking at a 10 year, well, maybe it depends on how much you do it, but like, and you're, of course, you're like motor learning capabilities, but you're t talking two years plus just to be not terrible at Olympic lifting. It's easier with most gym movements like a pull up, but the competency scale still takes out. It's like that 10,000 hour thing. Same thing in the gym. You want to get more out of something, you have to do it consistently. You don't know if it's not a good exercise for you because you're probably doing it badly. Because you're competent, you've just started, you're down here. Even if you're a, like, unreal athlete, and every time you do something, you're really good at it, or you want to learn to do a backflip, you do a backflip in a couple of weeks. As an example. That just means you've, you've, you've traveled on this competency line faster. There's still things in there that you can improve and get more out of. And you want to get to that level, that zone of optimal competency so you can yeah. it's like you know when you squeeze those lemons on the on the juices rather than with your hand like if you squeeze a lemon with your hand you're not going to get that much lemon juice out you shove a fork in there move it you're going to get more juice but the fork is like amateur level you get one of those squeezers oh baby you get a real lemon squeezer you squeeze all the juice and then you've got that t that ten year ten year experience of doing an exercise, and you've got the mechanical, like industrial level level lemon squeezer, simultaneously takes the zest off, gets everything out of an exercise. I actually have a good example. This low row, I've just introduced it. I haven't done low rows in years. I used to do them all the time, and my lats never hurt. Like, I've been in the gym 10 years, right? Doing random shit, different shit. But my lats never hurt. I've recently been doing this exercise because of these principles of training through length, training the joints through a full range of motion. I'm stretching out my lats. You'll see it's going to come back. But this is a prime example of squeezing more juice out of an exercise, like... You will learn principles about the body as you continue down this path of training that you can then apply to every single exercise to squeeze more of that juice out. So I used to do like low rows or even this exercise, side lateral raises. I used to swing the side lateral raises up with 20, I think 20 kg in each hand. Like no one's lifting that really with good form. And now my form is so much better. I'm getting way much more lemon with less effort as well as the other thing the industrial lemon squeezer you don't have to push as hard it does it for you effectively you can use a lower weight reduce the the, the slight increased risk of an injury of using more weight and get what you want out of the exercise <sighs> but it's a big deal like don't stop changing exercise get so proficient at an exercise if you look in the gym and you see someone moving insanely well, like a really nice squat. Oh, they have a really nice bench press technique. And maybe they've been in the gym for a while. Watch them year over year. They will look the best in the gym. Their muscles, their body will look the best. It, it just equals games. The more aesthetic your, your training is, the more beautiful it looks, the more competent it is, it leads over time to a more successful fatigue, lowers the risk of injury. Like, my lats were never been as sore as after this. I did three sets, man. Three sets of this low row. And my lats were sore. It's that stretch and then keeping my chest over my hips. Doing my rep match, which basically means whatever you get on your first set, which I think I got 13 reps on my first set at this weight. I then do two more sets and I have to get to 13 reps on each set. And you break in between. So like, 
I've gone and done, I did like, yeah, seven, three, and three, or something like that in reps. That's a my rep match. Super useful and beneficial training technique. I'll talk about that more in another video. But yeah, what I've been saying, aim of this video is squeeze that lemon. You've not got all the juice out. Do the exercise. Get better, get stronger, more volume, more capabilities. Especially when you start a new exercise, you should have some linear progress the first few weeks. You should start on the lower end. You don't need to go crazy to failure. Start on the easier end, build up slowly. Tiny increases, very small, the smallest possible increases you can do. Do those over time, competencies, stimulus, rewards from that effort of building those skills of movement will lead to better gains, yeah. Even the simple things, like, it's not always just about increasing weight, like, how much do you feel in exercise, how sore are you the, the next days, little things, small things that come with experience, stop changing exercises, squeeze the lemon, go harder on those exercises, build them, and then once you've really really plateaued I mean taken a deload and then tried again for two more weeks still plateaued then change it I don't care if you're bored I don't care what your feelings say <laughs> I don't, I'm joking being dramatic but for a point keep training that exercise hope you enjoyed the video have a good day